Today I'm launching early access to my new app, TaskTXT. So I generally feel pretty distracted and I know these days a lot of people battle with distraction and focus. I wanted to apply the saying, what gets measured gets improved to my productivity. So I built this app to allow me to write down tasks that I wanna do and then time how long they take to do. When I write these things down, commit to them and start the timer, it makes a huge difference and I feel so much more productive at the end of a session like that. So now let's talk about how you use task TXT. To start out, you type a task that you want to complete. For me, it's often something like fixing a bug. And then you can optionally type that guess for how long it's going to take. And if you want to type an additional task, just make sure you separate it by two lines. So when there's two blank lines, the next line will be considered a task. And you can see the arrow shows up next to it, which indicates that it's recognized as a task and you can start the timer. And then just start your work. And when you finish, you can come back and you can pause it. Or if you're all done, you can click the check mark to check it off. If you think of other tasks that you wanna do after you complete the current one and you wanna get them out of your head, write them down in the same document. You can write notes below. Uh, sometimes after I finish a task, I'll write down kind of how it went here. I try not to use this for long-term planning of like a to-do list. I use other apps for that and I use this just for things that I'm going to work on in my current session sitting down at my computer. I recommend putting in a few tasks and then once this fills up, create a new page. If you sit down at your computer and there's a few old tasks here, just create a new page. Always create a new page. Don't try to track tons of tasks here. Get rid of those old tasks. They'll probably just stress you out. You can always go back and look at them. For me, this has been huge for my productivity. I think the reason it works so well is because you first commit to what you're gonna do by writing it down. And not only that, you commit to how long it's gonna take by writing the guess. And there's sort of magically somehow when you make a guess for how long something will take, it ends up taking that amount of time. The guess kind of forces you to really think through what's entailed in the task and you get better over time because you can see how accurate your guesses were. Having those guesses is also great because when you go through to pick the next task you wanna do, you can think about how much time you have available and then pick a realistic task for that amount of time. And then being on the clock is a huge disincentive against giving into distraction because you know you're being timed and you know you have a goal that you're shooting for. And then it feels really good to check off the task when you're done. The data for task TXT is all stored in your browser's local storage. So it doesn't leave your computer. It doesn't go to my server. I can't see it. Everything you type is instantly saved and it's very private. Now the fact that the data is stored in your browser's local storage means it doesn't sync between devices. It's not guaranteed to stay forever. If you use a different browser or you reset your browser, reinstall it, the data won't be there anymore. But you can always copy and paste the text out into, a, into another app if you want. But I also recommend just not feeling too attached to your tasks and using it only to focus on your current session of work. Another interesting thing about Task TXT is that all of the data that powers the app for the timers and such is stored in the document itself. So when you start a timer, it adds this little timestamp here. And that's what the timer is based off of. You could actually delete this text or cut it and paste it into a different app, paste it back into Task TXT, and the timer keeps running. The duration is also read from this task line, and your guess is parsed out of the document. And this means you need to follow a couple of formatting rules to make sure that task TXT can read this. So you format your guess in this format with hours, minutes, second, and they're all optional, but you just write one H for one hour, one M for one minute, and one S for one second. And that's all you really need to do because the duration of time you've spent and the timestamp when the timer started are inserted automatically. But you can see those follow a slash, then there's the duration, and then the timestamp if the timer is running. Generally, you don't need to touch these, but you can modify them if you want. Just make sure you keep the same format. So that's basically it. The app is totally free to use. I just ask for your email address when you first come to the site, but you don't have to provide it. I'm just gonna use that to send out updates when I change something or add some new features. And if I ever add paid features in the future, I'll make sure that people who tested this out early get some sort of a discount. So I hope Task TXT makes you more productive and I hope that you'll share your feedback. You can send an email to hello at wedeserveless.com or you can leave a comment here.